What's going on, folks? Earthmaster here, jumping in. I think uh, I got everything going here. Had some te technical issues going on with the uh, stream here. Not for sure what's going on. I think it's on the internet side, the uh, ISP provider. But uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get a hold of them a little bit later. It is August 28th, 2020, about 8.33 p.m. West Coast time. And taking a look at the Earthquake 3D Globe shows the uh, activity around the globe here. Over the last 24 hours or so, pretty minimal. There's some older deep earthquake activity about ready to drop off the globe. The latest earthquake activity in northern Alaska there. Uh, 2.6 magnitude earthquake striking up there. Other than that, it's pretty mellow, folks. I mean, we got a lot of red color rings out here indicating the older quakes. Not a whole lot to report out here, which is pretty strange. That's kind of like the calm, I guess, before the storm, if you will. Um, so we will definitely be watching uh, for some further activity here pretty soon. Taking a look at the U.S. or at least the Caltech website here. This is the uh, earthquake activity out here in Nevada and California. Shows very minimal earthquake activity. A little bit of earthquake activity further south here. Just south of the border. A little blue circle or a blue square indicating a uh, earthquake out there. Not a big one but a 3.7 magnitude quake. Striking at, uh, what do we got, about uh, 10 kilometers, 6 miles west of Progreso, uh, B.C., Mexico region, Baja, California, right? Just south of the border there. We'll go ahead and zoom over here to the latest from the USGS map here. Two point five and above shows that three point seven out there, um, and not a whole lot of other activity out there to report. You have to replace that two point five with the all magnitudes in order to see more earthquake movement out there. This is all microquakes up here in Nevada, and also through the Ridgecrest area. Uh, not for sure why there's a uh, query blast out there in the. Uh, <clears throat> in the little lake area a 1.4 striking there they got they got that at 9.1 kilometers below the surface this area this area right here we've seen a little bit of quarry blast through the garlock fault zone and areas to the east uh, but now we're seeing some being reported there uh, near the ridgecrest area at least to the north there so not uh, who knows what's going on with the activity there it's just uh, a little bit irritating uh, to say the least, you know, if they are blasting areas down there. Uh, also, a 1.2 down here near the San Bernardino Mountains. Another query blast. The latest quake here, over here towards the Los Angeles area in the concrete jungle. 1.4 near Roland Heights, California. This area right here will soon uh, uh, definitely be experiencing a large earthquake in the future, no doubt. Uh, this area here is uh, very prone to uh, some major damage coming up pretty soon. That's a uh, given. That's nothing anyone can hide from. Um, other than that, folks, there's not a whole lot going on here in Northern Cal. Some more activity up there near uh, the Willits area. This has been ongoing for quite some time. It looks as though it may be spreading out a little bit towards the west here of this fault system. We've got the Makama, Makama fault zone. Um, and this little earthquake here just popped off to the west of the area. And just something to keep an eye on um, in this region for possible further movement. Uh, as we go to the Trimmer map here in the Cascadia subduction zone here. Take a look at uh, Trimmer being picked up a little, little bit more active tonight compared to the past few nights here. Uh, mainly in northern Washington and northern Oregon area along the Cascadia subduction zone. Nothing extending further down south through here. So we're seeing movement in the uh, deep areas there. This is basically uh, a tremor. Not earthquake activity, but movement way down below in the subduction zone of the North American. And the Juan de Fuca plate here, the Cascadia subduction zone. So we're seeing some pretty good movement down there in the in the uh, the way down there below the surface. So 
So, uh, this is pretty, I think it's pretty common here in this area. But, uh, it's something to keep an eye on, right? Uh, let's go over here to the latest Yellowstone activity out here. We were looking at some uh, some strange readings out there on the eastern side of the park. Those have gone off the window right now. And no further earthquake or at least weird activity to report. Um, this area down here seems to be influenced by... Uh, this is either either weather or local localized interference right there. And the reason why I say that is because this is not showing up on areas um, further away from the seismic activity here so it's very localized not for sure what it is but uh, I don't believe it's anything to worry about at the moment um, compared to last night so pretty much clear out here no uh, no swarming or whatnot to report in the Yellowstone area As I mentioned, their trimmer pretty much confined up there to the northwest. So we're going to go ahead and shoot over here to the live stream here and uh, take a look at the earthquake 3D globe. 4.5 earthquake out there south of Fiji Islands area. You can see that uh, green. Click on that there real quick. The green flag there showing a earthquake 552 kilometers below the surface pretty good that's a pretty good uh, deep earthquake out there and the latest earthquake on the globe and that's uh, pretty much a good thing because we haven't seen too much earthquake activity out here over the last 24 hours or so but uh, we will obviously be monitoring this there is a new live stream up folks we have uh, I had to update my computer a little bit earlier so some issues going on there's still some issues going on even after the update I think it's got something to do with the ISP um, company but uh, I will be getting a hold of them and finding out what's going on because uh, it's pretty much uncalled for there should be a pretty much consistent upload speed and these guys were uh, messing with it big time I don't know what was going on but uh, it was very definitely affecting my live stream um, capabilities out here. So I will be working on that uh, tomorrow sometime. So anyway, folks, have a good night. Uh, please stay safe out there. Not a whole lot going on on the earthquake world, but um, that will probably soon change with this deep earthquake activity occurring right now. Um, just south of the Fiji Islands area so we'll catch you guys a little bit later and uh, please stay safe out there